I'm going to still have to take a few minutes to make sure that everything is set up correctly. So... Sorry about the fact that we're going to be staring at the main menu for a couple of minutes. I apologize. I hope you can understand. <laughs> All right, YouTube, paste link. Hey, I can still speak here. Yes, you can. Uh, well, okay, actually, I could ban you. Hold on. Give me five minutes. <laughs> Easy fix. Alright, sorry. I have to take uno momento. Uh, go ahead. Uh, pictures, art, YouTube, pfp.png. Nah, nah let's, let's actually just go for a train picture. Uh, Where are we at? <sighs> Gotta have something good from Railroader that I can post. Uh, I'll post the bug image. I'll post the image of the one, one locomotive sitting in the grass. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Single player. Uh, Wesser Highland. Let's do Wesser Highland today. I started a new save last night, and uh, train. It's been a while since I used Twitch. I made it. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I am kind of cheating the system a little bit on this save. Because I kind of just want to get started. I want to be able to run between Bryson and Whittier. But uh, we have the Wesser Highland Coal Company. Um, and basically the main goal of this save is to get to Alarka Junction. Just so that I can start running heavy duty freight between <laughs> of long coal trains between Robinson's Gap and Whittier. So that's the plan for today. We are, we are going to try and uh, continue along with the save. I am kind of speedrunning. We, uh... I think we have literally zero contracts right now. Yeah, no, we have... Maybe we have the sawmill... Okay, no, we just straight up have zero contracts. <laughs> Maybe I should get something so that I can start making actual money off of something other than passenger service. <laughs> Holy carp, I haven't used my Twitch account in a couple of years. Uh, same. In f uh, admittedly, I kind of just made a new one for Twitch. <laughs> for for stir-related activities. Unfortunately, the name stir was taken, but I think that's because there's a much bigger YouTuber or a streamer or something that uses that username? Unfortunately, I'm orange. Now you're purple on my screen, Celestial. Scream? Did I just say scream? <laughs> I meant to say screen. With an N. Okay. So we did sell off... 
those cars. To be frank, that was probably a mistake. Uh, we only have to pay back $500. We can do that. This is gonna be fine. <laughs> nah, purple, bro. Mudge is orange. Brood, you're red. Celestial, you're purple. Mariyoshi, lighter orange. JHR is yellow. There you go, random information you didn't need to know. <laughs> I do hope that one day I can get affiliate on Twitch so that I can upload my emails. Oh yes, a hundred con is a uh, egg. <laughs> Not blue. You're blue on my screen. Dabba dee dabba die. Hey, hold on. Uh, so this was at 160%. I'm going to write that down somewhere. Okay, bada bing. Bada boom. Let's just go ahead and cheese the system. We get more passengers, load our train, but we get more than 60 people on the train. <laughs> How to make money 101, yes exactly, sell everything, then take out a massive loan. And make it, uh, <laughs> unless we're talking about Twitch money. Also, sorry for hitting the microphone. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Stream delay is way shorter here. Ayo. I find it funny. I'm taught. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm a moron. There we go. Much better. <laughs> is the stream delay really better here? That's nice. Also, uh, stream audio, let me know if it's ever bad. Tell me if it sucks. <laughs> you have a one-up on me, I don't have chat on my stream. Dude, literally all I did, Mudge, was I downloaded Twitch Studio. And I just use the default settings. <laughs> uh, the thing is, though, I, I just copied my Splatoon settings. Um, I, I shouldn't have clicked over to the, the other gameplay tab. <laughs> no, but since I copied them, I just have the... Uh, I just have the chat. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, where are we? We have 35, 39. Let's let's do one more time skip. 15 more pass. Oh wait, hold on. We already finished the bridge. Wow, okay. Well, uh, orders reverse go. <laughs> that was fast. You two, number one. I don't want to see you in town by the time that, uh, number two makes it back. Trying to make a path from my base to my farm, and I have various holes I don't know what to fill with. 
Uh, creeper holes? Are you the kind of person who just leaves creeper holes all around? Try running the line from Whittier to Bryson for a bit before expanding. Easy money on passenger runs. Uh, I'll probably... What I think I'm going to do, Mudge, is I'm going to keep the loan at $5,000 for a while, and I'll just be paying $500 constantly. We'll be doing passenger service back and forth, but we're not going to be running any freight. And I'm going to instead focus on making sure I have all the expansions that I need before I actually start going for um, for freight contracts. Now, I won't be going for all the freight contracts at once, because I, I think I want to get a third locomotive before I actually make it all the way to Robinson's Gap. But, I, I want to make sure that I can get all of the, um, the expansions out of the way easy early. And then I'll focus on, on getting money from freight traffic eventually. <laughs> Bryson is going to be so much cash for the passenger train, though. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have already had a compulsory service. I got unlucky today. I had to deliver to Ela. I didn't realize it until I was already in Ela. Bryson gets a lot of passengers. That it does. And Whittier gets a lot of passengers, too, over time. So I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be able to uh, to speed up this save pretty quickly. Can I see the other train from here? No, where's it at? Oh, it's only there? It's only at the 30 mile an hour curve now? Boring. Lame. Wish there were more train simulators that would just let you screw around that aren't trains. Uh, let's see. Doesn't Dovetail have some sandbox game mode? Audio's not playing, by the way? Oh, it isn't. You are absolutely correct. What the heck? Hold on. What on earth? Hello? Um. <laughs> Am I going to have to manually change one of these to specifically be for Railroader? No, I can't even do that. It won't work. Um, doing microphone just makes me do that twice. That's not worth it. Uh, no. How the funk? Okay, hold on. Let me, before before I get too lost in the sauce of trying to fix my audio issues, let's make sure that the other train is is lined up so that it will go around the um the passenger train. Planning on making my save from Silver to Robinson Gap. I know it's a bit much for single player, but I need tonnage. Honestly, it's not a bad route. I just don't like Silva personally. I don't think I think Silva is way better than uh, Nantahala and Robinson's Gap. But admittedly, Nantahala has also gotten better over time. 
So, okay. Volume. Audio mixer. Individual audio sources. That didn't work. What am I supposed to do? What am I doing wrong? Do I need to enable Elgato sound capture to get this to work? Okay. There we go. That took too long. Uh, is that good? Do I need to adjust this volume a little bit? I'm gonna move it down five decibels. Is that reasonable? Is this acceptable? Manster just can't catch a break when it comes to computer bugs. I know, today's just been a nightmare. We had the issue earlier this week with, like, YouTube scheduling the video at the wrong time because I just screwed up because my computer crashed, but... <laughs> now we have all this. Ah! We've hit the big streaming website that we have. We hit it a couple of weeks ago, actually. Um... Admittedly, I've mostly been doing Splatoon on this account, but <laughs> we're here, and we're trying to to scrounge together everything <laughs> so that uh, it, this still works just like YouTube. <laughs> All right, wait one hour. When is the interchange service is scheduled for 1600? So we'll wait before we skip to the next hour. So that our cars for the interchange can be taken away properly. That was the wrong button. I thought it was controlling engine number two. I was controlling engine number one. <laughs> hey, I'm serving my interchange to right now too, lol. <laughs> Honestly, Mudge, I, I could open this up to multiplayer. Admittedly, I'd still want to speed run this. I I'd still want to basically just play this, trying to get upgrades as fast as possible. But I could open it to multiplayer. <laughs> Entirely up to you, but I'm good with speedrunning. You know what? Why not? Uh, let me temporarily hide that. Um, let me set a password. Copy of that, send it in the super, super secret chat. <laughs> Save the game. Re-enable all that. I have no clue if me editing the scene is actually shown live or if I have to actually save. Do I have to actually save? People, please tell me. <laughs> Do I need to be extra careful? Am I stupid? <laughs> All 
You know, I'm going to act like I'm stupid, and I, I screwed that up. I see the game. Do you see the game now? I see Minecraft. Okay. So it does, in fact, work properly. Good. <laughs> Drop a save. Quit. Discard. Uh, multiplayer. Host. WHCC. Start server. Bam. World should be up much. Let me post password where you can find it. It's train time. <laughs> it was already train time, but now it's train time again. I am an idiot. Never mind. <laughs> How did I screw that up? I, uh... I forgot... by the next phase. <laughs> you have Animal Crossing? New Leaf or New Horizons? Could be a fun game to stream in the future. Yeah, I have uh, New Horizons. Played the living daylights out of that for a couple of years. I, I've kind of abandoned my island. It's in this weird state where it's kind of half-built. We could also do Stardew Valley. We've got Stardew Valley. Uh, games that I have streamed, or games that I have considered streaming. Splatoon. I've, I've already done it. I've already streamed it. Um, let's see. FTL, Faster Than Light. Heat Signature. Um, <laughs> Geometry Dash. What else is there? Stardew Valley. I need to look at my Steam page. What what other games do I have that I could stream that could be fun? Deep Rock Galactic could be funny, so could Lethal Company. <laughs> I got you, yeah, I personally got my island pretty much how I wanted, and I don't have a reason to go back to it other than finishing the Happy Home <laughs> Paradise. I, I have a reason to go back to it, I kind of just left it half complete. Someone said Lethal Company? Somebody did say Lethal Company. <laughs> Lethal Company would be fun. Been looking for a reason to go back to that game. Maybe maybe I should make a mod pack and like just have occasional bonus streams. Like once or twice a month. <laughs> just play. Suffer. Struggle. Get entirely terrified of the Bracken and die. Mario Wonder, that could be fun as well. Uh, I've kind of 1,000%ed Mario Wonder already. <laughs> um, I could do it, but I've beaten it. <laughs> Make a mod pack that replaces the Thumber with a baby car. <laughs> I actually haven't played too much with mods. I've mostly played with like cosmetic ones. Oh man, we might actually fill these passenger cars completely. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this might be a small problem. Let's make sure no passengers waiting in the station. Let's roll. Again, uh, let me know if the audio levels on stream are good, or if they're, they're a little bit jank and could probably be improved. We're still, we're still experimenting a little bit with this, so... <laughs> Smash the train into a signal station. <laughs> Mario Wonder for me is gonna be like Yoshi's Island where I never truly 100% it because it's gonna take make the going for it makes the game less fun, but I do replay it from time to time. Honestly, I find it a lot of fun to sometimes go back for like an hour or two and just try and find people who are struggling and just help them a little bit. Feels good. Feels nice. This thing's got the stock whistle. Yes, it does have the stock whistle, in fact. And I could turn it down a bit. Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, let's bring that down t to 8 decibels. Decrease, bam. Yeah, it's got the stock whistle, I think, because, uh, reasons. <laughs> I haven't bothered changing them because I've done, like, three different speedruns. That could be fun, but... Hmm... No. Oh. Ooh! Is that a new whistle? I don't think I've heard that one. That's so weird and jank. I love it. There, I don't have a train in my eardrums. <laughs> All right, just for that, we're gonna we're gonna turn it up by twenty decibels. <laughs> yeah, I should start slowing down. We're coming around the thirty mph curve here in a second. They add new whistles, I wasn't aware of all, I just made a mod that has a red inch six chime. I'm not sure if they have or haven't, but that sounded new to me. I don't think I've heard that one before. So... They might have. Is there any other new whistles that I don't recognize? Maybe I have heard this one before and they just change it. I just don't recognize it. I don't know. But I feel like I've never heard that one before. So, hmm.
Alright, hold on. I I should probably set this up so that I'm going to go... Oh, wait, no, I want to go on the main line because Mudge needs to go on the siding because of that one card Eela House. The first stock whistle kind of sounded like Sierra Number Three's whistle, aka the Polar Express's whistle. Is Sierra Number Three's whistle in the game? I don't think so. No, might be a mod. Probably is. Um, there probably is a mod somewhere. Planning on going into Derail Valley, making a giant hazmat train and sandbox, crashing it into CSW at 100 kilometers per hour, and blasting Norfolk Southern. What's your function along the way? Big boom. Likely to block the main with the caboose, unless you want me to push up to Ela. I've been pushing, dude. <laughs> I, I've just been pushing the whole way. Because we're, we're doing speed here, aren't we? I'm just going to be doing push-pull service with this 440. <laughs> thought you wanted an for it. Oh, don't worry, I'll want it once we get to, like... Actually, will I want it when we get to Bryson? I probably don't even care when we get to Bryson. I just care once we have, like, a Larka Junction unlocked. Right now, we're doing a little bit of precision schedule rarity. Oh wait, no, actually, you know what, since you're still in Whittier, I'm gonna skip another hour so that I can get some passengers. <laughs> I need passengers. Hello, Ginger, welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. I've gotta go grab chicken pot pie, alright, I can take over your train for a little bit. It's a video of NS, what's your function? Of, but the, of the music being removed and it's just train noises, lol. The top and off the top comment was NS, but they laid the music off. <laughs> laid off the musicians. Downloaded a mod that's an old Western 440. What, that's the one with like 12,000 pounds of tractive effort and a colorable boiler? I know that mod. It's a really cute little engine. Kind of weak, but it's cute. It's nice. wish there were some cars to go with it. These open platform cars kind of work with it, but yeah, I get what you mean. It would be nice to have some slightly smaller and more old-timey cars. I get you. We're kind of, we're kind of just gonna sit here for a little bit, chat. I I hope you don't mind ASMR cricket noises. <laughs> How's everybody's day been? 
Oh, I should probably pull the- I should probably not have the engine on 1% regulator, and I probably shouldn't have it blocking the railroad crossing. Have you played with the new engines yet? Yep! We're actually playing with one right now. We're playing with the 440. I see him on the move. That you are, Mudge. That you are. I've got you lined up. You should be good. I figured we can worry about coal in a little bit. Uh, and your train's on AI control, so if you want to take it off AI control, go right ahead. <clears throat> I do really like that 460. Dude, that 460 is adorable. I'm... <sighs> I'm really tempted to give one for the save, even though I think that I I don't know if I really want it. Maybe we will. Because I'm, I'm thinking we're going to get at least two G25s. We already have one, but... Going to finish this food, then I'll take the reins. I forgot the time zone difference. Ah, oh, it's currently about 3 p.m. around here. West coast, best coast. Anybody got some cool campfire games we can play? <laughs> As we sit here. <laughs> Don't know why, but I'm not a fan of the moguls, so I'll keep my ten wheelers. I think one reason I'm a fan of the moguls is because my father actually has a model of one of them. One of the G25s. And so I can go down to the basement and I can drive one. It's apparently a uh, common Bachman model. I spy. <laughs> we can see how much gasoline we can pour into the boiler before it turns into a steam engine. Turns from a steam engine to a fireworks launcher. <laughs> Just add all the gunpowder. Hot potato? How are we going to play hot potato? Is this something where you just you name you have to tag somebody in chat and if you don't do it in 5 seconds you lose? <laughs> so short line you feel doesn't get enough love for me it's the bay line down in panama city beach florida my family and i used to go vacation there and i got to see those locusts a lot my personal the one that i think of the most is the lapeer industrial railroad in lapeer michigan it's a very weird little railroad that's in like not even two miles long and has like a total of five switches to its name including the switch that comes off of the interchange this is this random little short line railroad that like serves <laughs> serves a tiny little cement plant or something. And on the main line, industries are on the main line. There are no switches onto spurs. They just straight up park cars on the main line. <laughs> That's one of my favorite short lines. Just because it's so goofy. For that one particular reason. I think they're owned by the jail road, I'm not entirely sure. I spy with my little eye something being with 67? A 67 Cadillac? All right, we'll sit here and... Hey, he's almost here. Mudge has almost arrived. He's only got one more mile to go. Out of the, uh... Three and a half mile trip. Let's go.
Feyline unfortunately got G and WFI though. <laughs> the plague be upon ye. Oh man, this is gonna be an excellent photo opportunity. With Mudge pulling up beside number one. Just realized, hold on, where is where's Mudge at? Coming into town, coming into town. <laughs> oh my god, you're highballing. There we go, those are some good screenshots. Favorite short line is the Ballard Terminal Railroad. The whole line is for one cement plant running down the street. Ooh, running down the street, street running in Seattle. Uh, heck yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna back up so I can get out of your way so you can run around this stuff. I'll move beyond the passenger station, uh, Mudge. I think what we're gonna wind up doing here is I'm going to skip hours until the passenger train is fully full, or your train, um, is things and stuff, uh, <laughs> and, or your locomotive. Your cars have fully unloaded or loaded or whatever. Unloaded, not loaded. Why would they load? <laughs> My favorite short line is Iowa Traction. I know, it's not creative, but on the contrary, Steeple Cab. <laughs> I will admit, Steeple Cab cool. Steeple Cab awesome. Steeple Cab badass. Alright, I'm gonna pull this train slightly forward so that I can park her right by passenger station. <laughs> that quick whistle for the crossing. <laughs> Glorious. Okay, hold on. Yes, we line for Whittier. We have five passengers waiting. Uh, Mudge, let me know when the cars for the bridge site are in position, and we can, um, <clears throat> I'll start skipping time. Are we on one-to-one -one time, by the way? Yes, yes we are. We are very much on one-to-one -one time. We're good, we're good. We are fine. Was done to chat. Roger that. Roger that. God, it's funny to think that it's actually. I thought this was the sunrise, the little red mist over the hills. Nope, that's a. Uh, that's nighttime. <laughs>
Slur the T17 will not pull a 20 card train up the grade out of Dillsboro to Silva. Yeah, no, no duh. That grade is surprisingly steep, all things considered. Cars in position. Roger that. Um, I see the house track car isn't there yet, but we don't really. We just want to make sure that gets there sometime uh, in the next 24 hours. That's okay, though. Okay, wait one hour. 12 passengers. Wait one hour. Ten passengers. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while. Wait one hour. Zero passengers. Okay, maybe we need to maybe we need to throw this trade into reverse. All styles one can build in. Inside Minecraft, I enjoy a simple rustic look. Nothing super fancy or super bland. Honestly, that's entirely fair. I, <laughs> I usually just build with spruce and dark oak and, and try and find something that I, I mildly like. Maybe that's another thing to do. Make a. I mentioned actually on uh, one of the Splatoon streams. Maybe what I need to do... Uh, why is the throttle not moving? Maybe what I need to do is make a Minecraft chunk lock server. Like, no, no major mods. Well, maybe one major mod, but just chunk lock. <laughs> host a building competition. Oh, we're gonna host that building competition for, uh, what's it called? For, um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. This nice Twitch makes 8i? Uh,. What what what's eight I? <laughs> Game holds so many memories. RCT two is gem. I know, right? It's so good. And I, and I, now that I actually understand how the game works, is actually fun for me. Aside from just building random loops of track for trains to run on. <laughs> Oh, I just realized, I didn't turn on streamer mode on Discord. I should do that. Okay, streamer mode enabled. We're good. We're safe. Set the throttle to zero percent. Why does it keep getting stuck around twenty-five to sixteen percent? What the heck is up with that? Is it okay? This is kind of stupid and annoying. Weird. They want you to crash and burn. <laughs> It automatically catches you up with a stream, which is convenient, because my Wi-Fi sucks. 
<laughs> as proven by the fact that it said uh, 8i instead of uh, <laughs> instead of automatically reconnects. Engine in AI mode? Nope, the engine is not in AI mode. I know that for a fact because how the heck would I be able to, to put it to other speeds? It's just a weird little bug, I think. Oh wait, we actually have passengers here? What the heck? <laughs> who's who's waiting for a train at 11 p.m.? Are you guys okay? <laughs> Do you need help? I want waffle fries. How dare you make me think that we'll remember that waffle fries exist, and now I'm hungry. <laughs> We're gonna be getting chocolate chip pancakes tonight, though. Unfortunately, we ran out of chocolate chips, but we didn't run out of pancakes. Alright, how much money do we get? $640. Uh, these loans are gonna slowly eat away at us. My friend and Ela ran out of atomic mayonnaise at at eleven in the after it in the afternoon. Eleven in the afternoon, yes. That's how words work. Go open. You know, it's kind of funny. We've got more people following this uh, this Twitch channel, just this stream, than we have in the uh, the last few weeks that this channel's been up. I mean, I know why it's happening. It's because we're streaming a train game rather than Splatoon, and uh, I, I announced it on the channel rather than just on um, on Discord. But it's still funny to me, you know. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Locomotive pill to train Maxi <laughs> Owen in. I'm so grateful for this one little lamp here, by the way. Can I just point out how awesome this lamp is? <laughs> I also, I love the fact that both Mudge and I tried to lower the coal chute. <laughs> so I just lowered it immediately, pulled up. <laughs> My bad. No worries, man. No worries. Not like you got anything else to do right now. Gotta sit around and wait. Good afternoon, it's James Mace from YouTube. Ah, hello, James. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> They raised the water column. I thought it would hit passenger cars. Uh, it might hit them when it's actually like lowered, but uh, I don't think they raised it. I think it's about the same height. I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, like the coal stop? <laughs> did we run out of coal? Oh, we did run out of coal, didn't we? Okay, I see, I see. Okay, let's let's fill up on water, and then we'll fill up on more coal. I understand. I I see the thing. Hello, T fourteen. Welcome back. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Just had the best idea. From now on, whenever I'm about to dutch a car, I th I think I'll say I'm NSing it, since NS means Nederland Spoorwegen, the Dutch Rail Company, <laughs> or Norfolk Southern, so I'm covered if I do it successfully, or if I poison a small Otayo hound for decades to come. The conveyor takes longer to load from the car now? Uh, I don't think it takes longer to load, it's just... It's always sort of had this weird little quirk where if the car, the conveyor loads the locomotive faster than the car loads the conveyor. It's always had that issue. It's why it's better to go out all the way to Bryson to refill on coal, in my opinion. And it's part of the reason we're speed running this. <laughs> Let's see here. Once we're filled up with water, we can fill her up on coal, top her off, bring her to the station, and then start time skipping. I think that sounds good. Sounds like a, a worthwhile plan. Also, I just realized... <laughs> Another thing that I have hidden... Wait, no, I didn't hide it underneath. Wait. Never mind, I stand corrected. I might be stupid. Ignore me. <laughs> I don't know why I whistled for that. We're only moving forward two inches. <laughs> Good morning, evening, or night. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. I whistle because dopamine... 
<laughs> You're not wrong. You you are very very much correct. I need the brain drug. Point eight, point nine, and full. All right, let's get this. Let's get this train back to the station, and then we'll start doing the trick. <laughs> we'll get back to the little bit of PSR to set this up. Reminds me of the "Why do you reload after every shot?" <laughs> video. Uh. As somebody who does not often play games with, with guns, with actual magazines and clips or whatever on them... Just seeing that, I feel that. <laughs> I 100% understand that. That's why gamers love mechanical keyboards. You know, it's actually kind of funny. So I got a keyboard for Christmas, right? It's very loud and clicky. It was to replace the old keyboard, which was wireless and was having some connection issues. But the funny thing is, whenever I'm streaming, I'm now using the, the less clicky keyboard. Just because. <laughs> I don't want to irritate people with the noises of, of ASMR a stirrer can type at 120 words per minute. Ah, uh, we might overshoot the station. No, we're good, we're good. Alright, so we have 4 plus 5 plus 3. Alright, Mudge, I'm gonna start skipping time again, get in position, so we can, uh, be ready to rumble. <laughs> Everyone in the train just flew off one seat in front of them. <laughs> Whiplash? What's that? Never heard of her. It also doesn't help that we're doing push-pull service. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, payment of six, balance is 634. Paid $6 for 1.2 hours of engineer services. So that's where the payment came from. $30 of wages. Two shop workers, reputation maintained at 110%. No passengers, wait another hour. All right. Hold on, I'll read chat in a second. I uh, <laughs> want to get this done before I forget. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain behind the yellow line as this train doesn't stop here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Love getting notifications like, your train is at 5% water and coal. And the engine is halfway between a lock of junction and almond. <laughs> Rip. Got an engine stranded between almond and Nantahala. Oh no. Just stuck all the way out there in the open. Hopefully, maybe you got the, the almond water tower. 
fingers crossed so you can back down the hill and just let her coast into town and get some more water. But then again, coal might be a problem. Backup engine, go! I didn't know it was before they added ah rip. Oh yeah, I need to hold on. Schedule. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I just realized we have an extra service scheduled for 4:55 a.m. Followed up with a service at 5 a.m. <laughs> Uh, we don't need the extra service. I'm taking a screenshot of that, though, just because it's funny. And I will skip one hour to see if we can get some more passengers. We can. Let's go. What appears, the crown sheet mechanism has failed, and I am going to die in a boiler explosion. Salutes. One time I had my passenger train die on the main line from water, didn't see the notification, and ran the F-71 at 45 miles an hour with 5,800 tons of freight behind her into the dead. In the water passenger train. Sad to say that was the only time I have ever save scummed in this game. Bang. Night generates a very low amount of passenger. Oh, I know, I know. I'm trying to squeeze every little nickel and dime out of this railroad right now. Because what we're doing is we are doing push-pull service for the first couple of days. This will not last. I... I... <laughs> I don't like push-pull service typically, but right now we're doing it to speed run the uh, the first couple of days because we only have Whittier to Ela. And so what we're doing is I'm running the passenger train back and forth and trying to get as many passengers as I can while one of my Ko-Fi supporters, Mudge, is currently running the Ela bridge repair train just back and forth. <clears throat> and so I'll skip hours to try and get more passengers but I'll also skip hours to speed up the process of bridge repair. Hello, APD. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I should close the <laughs> the door for a little bit. Turn off the headlight. And then we can maybe we can get some awesome screenshots as um as engine number two makes it into uh Whittier here. <laughs> so you had problems with YouTube today. Yeah, it was so annoying. We we also crashed four times while playing Railroads Online. The new update is so flipping buggy, I just gave up. <laughs> But yeah, I was having a weird issue with YouTube streaming, where uh, I could not edit the stream details whatsoever. But I've also been planning to slowly transition over to Twitch anyway, so like, convenient excuse to pop over here. <laughs> you crashed both- oh yes, I forgot the last crash, we actually- we derailed for some reason, and then the game just decided to commit die. <laughs> Best part about doing all tier 5 stuff is that you could probably you get probably 10 times the number of passengers you otherwise would since higher industry tiers means you get more passengers to those cities. The worst part about tier 5 stuff, pulpwood. I I, I have to agree. <laughs> pulpwood is part of the reason that we gave up on the big save and why we're restarting with this small one that we're only going to go to like a Larka. Actually, I think for this save I don't know if I'm even gonna go to Alarka. We might, we're definitely going to Alarka Junction, but maybe I'll make it to Alarka?
That was a pretty cool screenshot. Also, I hope the stream is not lagging on your end as much as it is on mine. Um... <laughs> the frame rate was kind of just dying there for a second. Hope all is well. We have the Twitch stream saved going for us. Probably. I think what I'm gonna do... Mudge and I actually talked about this because I, uh, I had some trouble. <laughs> I, I had some trouble figuring out whether or not they were even being saved. It actually turns out they were being saved. I just didn't realize it. Um... But I, I'm planning on downloading them and uploading them to YouTube. How bad is the pulpwood? Uh, it really depends on your tolerance for captive service industries. Because when it comes down to something like, let's see here. Pulpwood is at Silva, and Pulpwood is at Andrews. It takes a longer time than normal than logs to load and unload, which can make it kind of annoying to deal with. Because if you only have one set of pulpwood cars for all the pulpwood on your railroad, um, <laughs> you kind of you kind of have to basically be doing pulpwood all day. Not necessarily pulpwood is all you do. It's just that pulpwood is something that you have to do most of the time. You know. Pulpwood is like rusty nails injected into your veins. <laughs> okay, it's not quite that bad. <clears throat> I really do think that it heavily depends on your tolerances for, um... For captive service, like logging. But it's just logging that's long distance and takes forever to load. So... <laughs> It can get a little bit frustrating. Also, I didn't realize my brake was on 7% there for a second. Oops. Walker to Whittier is more enjoyable if you want mainline wood products. Yeah, exactly. That's what... I think we're going to actually do that on this save, just experiment a little bit with it. Um, experiment with Walker. <laughs> and also, make money, make money, make money. <laughs> How's the 440? It's pretty good. I like its high water capacity. Admittedly, water capacity isn't as much of an issue as it was before the update, but it's, it's a pretty little locomotive, you know? Well, we'll, we'll be able to see it a little bit better. Um, oop. <laughs> Rip Mudge, I guess. <laughs> we'll be able to see it a little bit better uh, once we make it to Ela and we can start skipping into morning. Graphics card killed itself, gotta reboot. Alright, alright. Take your time, Mudge. Take your time. Uh, I'll probably hijack the, the freight train from you for a few minutes, just to make sure that we keep things moving. Check number- okay, <laughs> yeah, exactly. If it's rolling, uh... Hello. Number two. Let me- let me just- Oh, wait, that's the wrong engine to apply the brakes to. Uh, let's just apply that on yard and stop the train real quick. <laughs> Set that to manual. Always get two sets of cars for captive service, so one set unloading while I have the other set loading. Honestly, Ginger, that's probably the smart thing to do, and I think that we should do that. <laughs> the thing is, on my last playthrough, on my last save, uh, I didn't, because it was a cheapskate, because we had a loan that was uh, 200, $270,000. 
Which may or may not be the reason that we're starting this new save and trying to speed run through the beginning of the game. <laughs> Uh, we should change the whistle on Hog. Mm, nah. That could be fun, but I think I'll pass. I like that whistle, that's always a classic. That one's also a classic. You know what? Let's, let's leave it with a cough g Five chime. And, um, let's wait an hour. I just... I just realized I done goofed. I done screwed up. I forgot to buy the milestone. I keep doing this. Why do I keep doing this? Bruh. It's late and I'm making a small Minecraft rally up a small hill is done, so off I go. Alright, take care, T14, take care. See you around, man. We're going to be teleporting around, folks. Sorry if you uh, get disoriented accordingly. Ooh, passengers. In fact, so many passengers. I think I'm going to head back to Whittier before we uh, skip time again. So I guess we won't be teleporting around and getting disoriented. I wonder what the longest train in railroad or company mode is? someone's hauled uh i've hauled a 115 car train before i only hauled it between silva and dillsboro but uh zero to ten i do not recommend that experience we had to have like a, a quadruple header to pull it I think we had both a Burke and a, a Jeep. <laughs> that was definitely an experience. One fifteen, I can do that in railroads and line in my sleep, and I have, matter of fact. <laughs> you know, I've also done that in my sleep. I've had dreams where I, I played video games, trained video games, and pulled the biggest train ever and derailed and got extremely pissed, and I woke up because of how angry I was that I derailed. <laughs> it was so stupid. I love it. I hate it. Three hundred car train. Oh my God, loading that. Uh, I I would not want to do that. 
30 cars was hell enough. PSR in the narrow gauge. That's right. White precision in Yukon. <laughs> New railroad. We'll we'll uh, build it in the middle of Wyoming. Don't ask why. <laughs> Just ask Yoming. Dumb dish. I'll show myself the door. <laughs> it's not even the worst part. The worst part is the fact that he considered doing anything in Wyoming. <laughs> Hey, it could be worse, could be Ohio. Just have yards at every industry, so I drop off the cars for that industry, pick up any cars that are already there, then leave. I have a really thorough timetable for all my trains, Lamau. Do one of those things... I've seen people have cross-loading. Where what they do is they park cars on like four different tracks, and then they, they load two cars at a time, but then they unload them into the next car over, and bada-bing, bada-boom, eventually you just repeat this. 50 different times. It's actually a pretty clever, precision way of handling the game. I think Ohio's had enough of trains for a few years, <laughs> considering that nuclear is sewage spill or whatever. <laughs> uh, oh, Ohio has, enough, has had enough of trains, but trains have had, not had enough of Ohio. Quick, everybody. <laughs> Move all the railroad museums to Ohio. I'm ashamed to say that I do that out of my own mind, but just for dealing with beams on Pine Valley. You know, that's fair. Because the Pine Valley area is kind of hard to get a good curve in there. Hello, Mudge. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, the train is still in the yard. I accidentally forgot to purchase the, uh, the expansion, so we're going to have to wait another hour. The locomotive is parked at the end of the yard. And... The interchange just received seven cars. You get quality options for Twitch, do you? Oh yeah, like the little gear thing. I thought you were talking about in uh in stream settings because I'm not able to stream at uh, anything higher than 1080p currently. I don't on my streams, but for yours there's yeah, there should be little gear quality 1080p source auto 720p 60 blah blah blah. All right, Mudge, if you just want to grab this, um, this is going to be the last one of these we need to do. And I'm thinking, after this, 
Well, I guess actually we're probably just going to continue running passenger services up and down the line <laughs> without a care in the world. I'll probably sign up for a couple of tier three contracts once we get the bridge built. Probably grab some Appalachia hardwoods just so we can be getting a good amount of cars and money. Maybe stencil manufacturing since it's pretty easy to serve. And then we can actually start running trains as God intended rather than, uh, or sorry, as the US government intended, my bad. Uh, <laughs> with uh, cabooses and um, trains at the front or engines at the front of the train. You can tackle the cargo if you want to do packs. Yeah, we can do a little bit of money grinding. It'll still be kind of quick, all things considered, but now that we can actually turn around our engine at the other end of the line. <clears throat> I mean, not yet, obviously, but when we can turn around our engine at the other end of the line. <laughs> Got a coal up and then I can head the Ila. Roger, Roger. I'm going, I'm going to wait for you to make it to Ila, because, uh, money. Ohio has had tr enough with trains for at least, <laughs> least, at least a century, a millennium, if you will. I I know those two words are not synonyms. I don't care. <laughs> L plus ratio. My other message was just so long, it didn't send. <laughs> Lengthy boy. We have too much nuclear waste transport trains. Send that stuff to Ohio. <laughs> send it to Wyoming. Give them hell. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've ever met anybody online who actively claims they are from Wyoming. One day, a small 06L is pulling up some cars up the main line to do some switching ops that the industry was assigned to. The train started slipping on a 3.7% grade, and it flew down the hill towards the trussle, which had some very tight curves, like 20 degrees, I want to say. The train didn't have any air brakes, so the crew just jumped off the loco, and the train derailed so violently on the bridge that it tore down the whole half-mile-long bridge at a huge part of the town when the bridge eventually collapsed from the violent derailment. Damn. Only in Ohio. Need to go find the abandoned- Oh! 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 I remembered something that I wanted to mention while TK was on the stream. I have no clue if TK is still around, but I was wondering if he had seen the, um... What's it called? The Bricklink train set that's coming in November. I don't think it has power motor functions, but it's a very adorable little set that they're producing. They also made this cool, like, Wild West theme one, or they're going to be making one in 2025. I've, I'm kind of tempted to buy it. I don't have money, and I know it's going to come in, like, five years, but... <laughs> I'm still tempted.
<laughs> yes, I have. I see you did not make your Twitch account. Good, sir. And I'm glad that you have seen it. Good. Thank God. <laughs> I, I'm glad I'm not the only one. The same railroad eventually rebuilt a bit of bridge to be straighter, which made it even steeper. And the same thing happened, except now the new 260 was hauling like eight log cars. And the train made it all the way to the bottom of the hill, where it ran into a standard game gauge steam engine head on, and the two locomotives exploded. Man. Imagine living long enough that you actually got to experience both of those disasters. And they happened within three years of each other? Wow. Wow. Okay, this, is, this is not going to be a picturesque location. God, I really hope the frame drops are only on my end and you guys aren't seeing that. It just, it looks like the stream preview is lagging out. <laughs> It, it's not telling me anything's wrong, but it looks like it's wrong. <laughs> not laggy to me. Okay, good. Thank goodness. I'm gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> You know what? Let's just follow this train. Why not? We don't got anything better to do. <laughs> Watch the train that I'm not driving. <laughs> Hello, Mudge. How's it going? calm just to watch the train running through the world, even if it's very much running running in a way I normally wouldn't condone. It's nice to sit back, relax, and turn on the radio. I mean, I guess we don't exactly have a radio, but... Shame Murder doesn't have the best locomotive to ever grace the rails of America. CB Huntington! Yeah, we pulled it out of the museum. Uh, they didn't know, but notice. Nobody noticed. We replaced it with a ham sandwich. And we shoved it into the video game. <laughs> what do you mean they're upset? <laughs> to be fair, a ham sandwich has more attractive effort than CP. CP Huntington, a very 
unique locomotive. I still find it funny that, like, there are so many replicas of it for two-foot gauge that are just, like, diesel engines made to look like steam. <laughs> Is the S100 an American steam locomotive? This is less so a question, more so a debate. That's a good question, because wasn't it, it, like, American designed and built? I'd say so. I would say yes. Tufa gauge is great, though. Very true, very true. Though, seeing two-foot gauge fake steam diesels is a very weird experience. All of them were built from the U.S. and they worked in Europe. Did, but some of them worked in the U.S. Yeah, some of the S100 stayed in the U.S. A great example of this is the one that's currently at the, uh, the Rail Museum in Sacramento. They've got one, that's their main excursion engine. For real, I didn't know that yet. They existed in the U.S. They were a thing. Isn't Granite Rock Quarry Co. number 6 and S100? Um... Let me check. To Google we go. She's still in service? What? Uh, I see Granite Rock Co. number 10, and that looks like an S100 to me. Very much looks like an S100. I think that's the one that's um at the California Railroad Museum. <laughs> Off to sleep for me, this is a good try for Twitch. Yeah, it's been a little fun experience. Good night, T14. Sleep well, man. Sleep well. Alright. Time skip time. One more time, Skip. Let's see. Can we get can we get the full? Yes, our train is full, boys. We got the full 120 passengers. In fact, we're gonna have to leave some people behind. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. When you get Bryson open, it might be advisable to get a third passenger car lock. Oh, uh, when we get Bryson unlocked, Mudge, I'm planning to buy a, a third engine, too. Don't worry. Um, maybe not immediately, actually. It'll probably be another stream, but we're definitely buying a third passenger car. Most cursed in Minecraft? You can't hoe Podzel, but you can turn it into Path, which can then be owned. <laughs> Lamau. Beautiful.
popcorn salt what? Popcorn salt water taffy is the worst idea I uh, ever. What? Excuse me. <laughs> Before I got my 210, oh, I used the A26 for Robinson. It was so fun using a 442 to do tier 3 Robinson work. Honestly, we're probably going to be using a G25 for Robinson. Uh, in fact, we're probably going to be using multiple G25s because we're probably going to be running multiple trains to and from Robinson per day. It's like a butter exclusion in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. Not sure if you saw the message, but you left an Ela house car on the front of the bridge chain. Oh, I know. I, I sent Mudge a message about it. Where is it? We'll worry about the house track car once the bridge stuff is done. Don't worry. Don't worry. We know about the Ela house car. Because the, the cars that go for compulsory service don't aren't really time sensitive. So... Oh, also, uh, oh yeah, Mudge, if you ever get a chance to, you can always put the, um, the 260 into East Whittier Engine Service. We already got two, uh, two workers there to repair stuff, so you can slap it in. It's a little bit damaged, and you can just repair that damage. Like, it's like, it's like 99%. <laughs> Time sensitive? No. OCD sensitive? Yes. Absolutely OCD sensitive. Which is why I'm doing it. Because it pisses people off. <laughs> Upper set will be fixed once it's back in radio. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Should just start building trains that look like living beings? I think that'd, that'd be cool, I think. <laughs> Tom is the tank engine, but he's just a flesh monster. Better yet, he's a furry. Look, Tony, we're, uh, we're on Justin TV. What, what, what do you mean it's called Twitch? Don't be silly, Tony. Twitching is what you do when you sleep. <laughs> Justin is what you do when you wake. <laughs> Equipment, passenger, Whittier, copy to coupled. Make him look like giant automaton animals. Oh, so kind of like that one elephant. They have this cool elephant tour. I remember seeing a Tom Scott video on it once. It's awesome elephant tours. <laughs> That's not the name of it, but just... You get giant <laughs> robotic elements. They're not elements, robotic elephants. <laughs> we can do that for trains. That'd be funny. Sending blocking to hostile, even though I have tier 5 contracts at all my industries. Honestly, I'm kind of half tempted to do hostile blocking for the stave just because it would be really cruel and unusual. <laughs> like, what are the blocking options? What, what could we do to make it worse? Features blocked by destination, mostly blocked, somewhat blocked, hostile. Nah, I, okay, maybe we won't do hostile. My first name is Justin Ao. Hey Mudge, you want to test something real quick? While we're we're waiting and doing this back and forth passenger service to try and get money, uh, you want to hop onto a sandbox world and just quickly see how many uh, of these small coaches we can fit on the Y alongside a locomotive at uh, Bryson and at Alarca Junction without the Alarca branch extension.
It's like the France of blocking. <laughs> it's like the the Wyoming of blocking. One loco, two cars, and an observation of Bryson, I think. Yeah, I think it's around that. But I'm wondering if because these open platform cars are smaller, maybe we'll be able to actually fit in four cars, if we're lucky. I doubt it. I severely doubt it. But if it works, <laughs> that'd be awesome. All right, hold on. Passengers, hello. Yes, wait one hour. 15 more passengers. We can probably back it up after this. Actually, we might be able to get away with another time skip or two. 12 passengers. God, people really don't like riding the train in the middle of the day. Which we got a bonus for using the 1883 coaches, like a 5% fare bonus to make up for the dismal price. Yes, please, give us something to make it worth our time to buy them. Because as it stands, these cars right here are just overpowered. <laughs> Ayo? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Mudge, when you're done, get back in here. I didn't realize how fast we were going to be making it to Bryson. <laughs> Posted results in yard chat. All right, I'll check them out. Uno momento, uno momento. Three is the max. Damn. Four cars almost. Ah, oh, that's so close. Man. <laughs> oh well. I guess we'll just run a three-car passenger train for the, the meantime. Speaking of three car passenger trains, though, let us go ahead loan a couple thousand dollars and uh, purchase one. All right, I might have I might have one new task for you. <laughs> Which is copy, copy the statistics of the coaches we currently own over to the new coach that we just purchased. Also, I just realized that we were going way too fast around the 30 mile an hour curve. I am very lucky because we did not take any car damage. Thank God. Neither. Oh, right, right. I forgot there's perms for that. <laughs> Uh, it's Train Master, right? I think it's Train Master. I hope it's Train Master. It's not an authentic rarity experience if you don't put the fear of God into your passengers. 
You gotta make him realize who's the boss. The boss baby. Terrible movie. <laughs> Who up bossing the baby right now? <laughs> Why does bossing your baby sound like something you would do in order to uh, to make a meal? Like, if for some reason, all I can think of is mincing your meat. Car is all set up proper now? Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> Alright, you can bring back the, uh, the freight. Because bridge. And I'll grab the extra coach for the passenger train, and then we'll skip ahead one day, and we will do... Well, oh wait, no, I have to actually run all the way to Bryson, don't I? And I should probably also grab a 70-ton... Um... Three-bay hopper, probably? Gotta shunt first. Oh, yeah, right, right. Ah, don't worry about that, don't worry about that. Take all the time you need. Bossing your baby is the term used when tenderizing duck meat. <laughs> oh, those poor ducks. Alright. We's got Bryson unlocked. Let's go ahead and take out a bigger loan. We're going to need to repay this soon. I don't want this money to kill us throughout the entirety of this playthrough. In fact, it's such a point that I think that after we buy this car, I'm going to ban myself from taking out further loans. Okay, so this will be... Equipment... Other than one... And it's just WHC, it's not WHCC. Actually, no, I should just make the other one be WHCC. WHCC is cooler. <laughs> there we go, much better. This hopper. Uh, what color should we make this hopper? Um... <laughs> Blue. We'll make it purple. There we go. <laughs> Actually, sort of dark blue could be cool, wouldn't it? I actually like that. You know what? Let's, let's keep it that way. Ah. <laughs> Barney the coal car. I can't tell if you're making a Half-Life reference or a children's TV show reference. Coal shipment I owed ya. 
Oh, wait, hold on. Speaking of coal shipments, let's also schedule ourselves another interchange service. And... <laughs> they are easy, so all. My body yearns for citrus like I'm a 16th century pirate with scurvy! Yar! Get yourself an orange. I don't think an orange is citrus, but get yourself an orange anyways. Treat it like a pet, treat it with love, treat it with respect. Then abandon it out of nowhere. Give it a long-lasting emotional trauma. <laughs> the body yearns to take passengers out into the middle of nowhere and decouple and leave them there just as the founding engineers intended. Alright, so I'm putting this car on the front of the train in order to keep the car order in sequence because this is 22, this is 21, this is 20. I don't know why it's backwards right now. Uh, I'm sure there's some reason that I screwed it up this way, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I find the reason Mega Project and Hermitcraft interesting a massive rail mail you know, I didn't even consider it. I guess the mail network is um a sort of mega project, isn't it? But it's also like kind of already complete, you know? Well I guess that does mean that it's recent, because it's done. <laughs> Ethel and Dango, man, absolute madmen. In the best way possible.
Well, I was saying silly things when I'm able to slow down my tra unable to slow down my train. Silly things such as, are you religious? Well, you might want to start praying anyways. <clears throat> or so, if you had to choose your last words, what would they be? Or you ever wanted to see what the bar a barrel roll of a <laughs> in a Santa Fe looks like? <laughs> I was expecting things more like Zoinks or Bazinga. What matters is that it's quite simple enough to be rebuilt. At least. Yeah, it's, it's super simple, all things considered. Like, it's still complicated redstone stuff. My brain can't fully wrap my head around it. It can mostly wrap my head around it, though, and that's what's so impressive. Power is flickering, FYI. Oh, boy. Uh, I will keep an eye out for runaway mudge. <laughs> Just in case that ever happens. <laughs> One fear. I guess we don't actually need to stop for water. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> don't mind my terrible whistle blowing. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Uh, you're aligned? Uh, yes, you are aligned. Perfect. You probably already got that. <laughs> Two passengers to price, and it's more than three. Hmm, we aren't supposed to be slow. Are we supposed to be slowing down? Ah, probably nothing. Who wants pancakes? So your braking force set to looks very responsive. Medium. We got medium braking force. At least I think that's the default. Just got my new department card or debit card. Either way, nice, nice. Congrats. Can't tell if it's a typo or not, though. Used... I used to understand it, it decently. Could try and relearn once I finally get a better computer. I think I understand it mostly. <laughs> I find it funny, the cactus thing, where they actually delete the minecart because it... just to keep the system going fast. <laughs> I love that. Damn it. Uh. Craziest thing I've ever seen in the game is the guy who got to the edge of the world on Factorio. There's an edge to the Factorio world? <laughs> Jesus. I think there were patches of iron ore that were in the hundreds of billions on the border. Oh, good lord. And with the DLC coming out, too, imagine if somebody does that, like, three different times. Space travel, baby.
If you had rail from the center of the map to the edge, in fact, it would take you 3.5 hours to get there. The game go the train goes 260 kilometers an hour. Jesus. No wonder only one person's ever done this. <laughs> it's 3.5 hours in human. Yeah, yeah, I figured. I figured. Holy crikey. Bro, that's... <laughs> No, that's not okay. <laughs> Actually, it is okay. It means that only one person has ever done it, probably. This is what happens when I don't take my pills in the morning. It feels like every time I get comfy, I fall asleep. If I take them now, I won't be able to sleep tonight. So like anti-insomnia, basically. want to make a train simulator where you don't play as a train, but you t just play as a guy in a speedo and you push the cars around. <laughs> that would be funny, like a little puzzle game. Sisyphus Crossing. Hey, nine passengers to Bryson. Perfect. Exactly as planned. <laughs> Instead of just a whistle, you just yell really loud. <laughs> Coming up to a railroad crossing. So I didn't do anything in chat for about 45 minutes. I was practicing death. <laughs> Just dead asleep. Rarid simulator where your job is guy who screens the sand in the sound towers. I know pebbles get into the domes of locos. Cause that was a legit job in the railroad. The ultimate railroad simulator. Where everything is perfectly realistic, you have to play it in VR. <laughs> you also have to get real sand. <laughs> 
you rather me wait till tomorrow to bring these cars up? Uh, yeah, that'd probably be better. Where's the, uh, where's the other car going? Oh, Bryce and Frey House, never mind. I, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, let's wait till tomorrow. Uh, set it up, though, so that you're ready to pick up your caboose and move those cars and any other cars that we get at the interchange. That's what I recommend. I will stop here in Bryson overnight, and then we'll skip the night and uh, begin the next day. All right, it's time for speed, boys. <laughs> Let's see how far we can get with this. Uh, why does the reverser not want to move? There we go. Also going to go on an island. Oh, we should probably start slowing down pretty soon then. I think we were worth, we managed to hit 50. Almost 55. Fifty-five point five, we hit it. That's all that matters to me. Start slowing down. Keep slowing down. We want to make sure that we're not going over 47 too far. <laughs> I would read chat, but I'm focusing on trying to make sure we don't derail. Maybe we should go for a different whistle for this engine. This is kind of fun and what jank, but eh. Let's see, what else do we got? Ah, we're already using that another engine, I think. Boy, we only have one other engine. No, we're not. Eh, not my big fan of that. That's just comically small. Hi, Mudge. <laughs> That's not too bad. That one's comically small. That one's comically high pitched. That one's mm, a little too low pitched. I know, let's go with the New York Central Five chime. VNT, what is the one I have in the small 440? It's perfect for the small 440. It's exactly what the small 440 needs. Can't wait for the Railroad or Emperor of the North pull update so he can kill players who try to get on a trade without paying for a ticket. <laughs> murder, murder, murder. K 
killing them just bans them from the server. It's not like temp bans, it's like perma ban. It's like a vac ban. <laughs> And presto. The v <laughs> I'm totally using it as a silver switcher because it can't do much else. Yeah, it's such a weak little locomotive. But hey, it's good for like small passenger services, kind of. Either it bans you for, for one session, or IP bans them from playing the game ever again. Like that one Russian roulette simulator that you can only ever play once. Oh man, I need to play Buckshot Roulette, dude. Buckshot Roulette looks so much fun. I saw a copy of it in Geometry Dash a while back, but... <laughs> It isn't Buckshot Roulette, I have to find it. But if you lose one match, you're permanently banned from playing it again. <laughs> That's so stupid. I love it. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna skip to the next day. Screw it. I'm not gonna try and micromanage passengers any further. We got enough passengers. We're fine. Buckshot Roulette would be cool. So cool if it had an all in mode where if you get shot or shoot yourself once, it installs a zip bomb onto your computer, which permanently breaks it. I'm not sure if that'd be legal. It'd be funny, but I'm not sure if it would be legal. I'm lo I'm unloading the passengers to Ela just because I want to make sure that we get more passengers to um to Whittier. <laughs> it's legal. Wait, it's legal if they warn you? Good lord. That's a... Uh... <laughs> well, we need to look this up. Somebody consult legally Eagle real quick. Someone make an RPG game for your computer that held your computer files hostage. You could either share them online or permanently delete them. What? I mean, that totally sounds like something somebody did, but I don't know if that'd be exactly legal. <laughs> I 
Ah, we, did, we didn't land it. Okay, we're just gonna skip this water tower. I think someone eventually hit system 32 <laughs> and we didn't mind the game. Oh my god. <laughs> Linux moment. Not, not to insult Linux, I just mean that in the sense that, hey, you can delete your, uh, quote-unquote system 32 on Linux. And we've been going for longer than we usually do for these streams. Admittedly, we, we had to split it in half, and I think that sort of has changed the nature of what we're doing, but... Am I the only one that went to Silva first? Perhaps. Perhaps. I I think we unlocked Silva soon after we unlocked Bryson, but the fact is, is now that I've played the game long enough, I know I don't personally like Silva, so I don't think I'm ever going to unlock it first. This man used to weigh 500 pounds, but thanks to advances in technology and science, he's now two men that each weigh 250 pounds. Combined. <laughs> Amateur science moment. That sounds like something Cave Johnson would say. You're absolutely correct. You know what's astonishing to me? My girlfriend... My girlfriend hadn't played Portal until, like, a, a month or two ago. Okay, maybe not a month or two ago, it's been a few months, but still, she didn't play Portal until, like, no earlier than last year. What happened to the lighting? Okay, that's strange. Whatever, we're fine. We're fine. See the Tumblr meat robot post? I probably have, I just don't remember it off the top of my head. Oh, there, Nelly. A little too fast, and I'm still wondering why Silva has no why. Why not? 
Uh, it's because it didn't have an IRL. Admittedly, they did change some track arrangements here and there, but... It's got a turntable, though, out of Dillsboro. Also, I'm not whistling for crossing, because nobody's awake at this hour. We're not going to hit any cars. <laughs> Oh, right, I realized, I remember what I was going to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hire two people at Bryson Engine Service, and I'm going to fire one from East Whittier Engine Service. Because I think we're going to be using Bryson a little bit more for car repairs from here on out. I might be wrong about that, though. Maybe I should keep the two at East Whittier. Uh, I don't know. one there should be fine. Hopefully. Just have to run two observation cars in the passenger train. Either that or turn around the passenger train at Dillsboro and then uh, run it back to Silva. Just for a short amount of time, but they're pretty close. You know, not all construction work is equally enjoyable. For example, enlarging a drilled hole is boring, but fastening pieces of metal together with her is riveting. I actually wonder if maybe that's where the, the terms for these words came from. You have to split thy train apart to spin it on the table. Yeah, but you kind of have to do that most of the time anyways. Split thine trade apart, for it has been ordained by the Catholic Church. No, it's been ordained by the Sturch. Speaking of which, I still need to get the Stur merchandise store fully fleshed out and ready for YouTube. I haven't bothered yet. Uh, I still need to do that. Sturch and Dice? No, I mean Sturch. I'm, I'm talking about the Stur Church, the Sturch. You also have Sturgeon Dice, do you not? No, I don't. I mean, yes, I do, but... Nobody's bought the piss cups yet, though. I'm depressed. Somebody needs to buy the little shot glass. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I know what to do with my birthday money. All oh, right, your birthday's on the Sunday. I forgot. See, I told you my brain would commit dumb. Maybe I didn't tell you my brain would commit dumb. Maybe I've, I'm already committing dumb by not telling you. <laughs> All right, number one is sitting in Ela. Uh, you know, let me. S I'm gonna teleport over to your train just to see what the heck you got in your consist. Oh my God, that's a lot of stuff to Bryson. <laughs> and I guess I, I forgot to order a milestone for the line to Fontana, but uh, we don't need to worry about that so much. I don't think. That'll be fine. 708 tons? That ain't too bad. That ain't too shabby. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on the milestone once we've got enough money to repay our loan. So that hopefully we don't have to spend an extra little bit of cash on the interest payment. Fingers crossed. I had to. For the two people who noticed what I just did, I had to. I was legally obligated. Only thing you're legally obligated to do is make atrocious puns from your username. Oh, I sued the city. I'm not legally obligated to do that anymore. I was for a while, but... <laughs> not anymore. That was certainly a noise that it made. <laughs> Love the way the whistle freaks out sometimes. It's great. Just got a fire call. Oh boy. Like, a volunteer car call to go out and commit fighting fires. So the trade on AI and I have to go, all right, take care, budge, take care, good luck on that. I think I remember I think I remember you mentioning that you're a firefighting volunteer in your area some time ago. Uh, 
All right. All passengers are loaded. Let's go ahead and add some people to Bryson Depot just because we can. And let's head into Bryson. And good, perfect. Mudge has already set up the switches. And a few Z, I don't need to do anything. Impeccable. Go do arson. <laughs> I'm stealing that term and nobody can stop me. I love picking up passengers and then parking the coaches permanently at Robinson Cole or the Sylvia Interchange Yard. What you should do is you get you should cheat in some of those work coaches just to make it even more challenging because you can only take a certain amount of people at any given time. <laughs> Make it a challenge to kidnap people. <laughs> oh, use Osgood Bradley's more kidnapped bees per unit space very efficient. Yeah, but if there's only ten of them, they're gonna feel a little more alone. And they'll slowly drive themselves insane. Work cars only carry 10 people, that's the point. It makes it an interesting challenge to move people. And... <laughs> um, they'll go insane, they'll drive themselves insane. Because there's less people to socialize with. Find the likery concrete powder looks nice alongside stone, gravel, and whatnot. A little expensive, some people often just use the set concrete version. Well, it's not that expensive to get. It's just the set concrete version without the water. It's expensive if you're trying to get it from somebody else, I guess. Because people don't think to, to use it, but... Considering that Mudge has to leave and we have been going on for five hours and my sister's coming over tonight, I think I'm going to call it quits when we're just going to make it to Whittier. Save the game. Make some money, some buckaroos. <laughs> it's been a good fun, though. It's been a good experiment with, uh trying out a completely different service to stream on. Uh, the first half of this this session was a nightmare. The second half was pretty good.
and pull into Bryson in such a way that we don't actually hit the railroad crossing ever. So I don't need to whistle for the crossing. <laughs> Nice that the stream went on a lot longer to compensate for my lack of cautiousness earlier. Yes, clearly, that's exactly why this happened. <laughs> Alright, let's wait for our money to come in. Let's wait for wait for our dollar dues. Where's my money? Lebowski. 36 passengers. Bryson. And... $234. Means that we can repay a tiny portion of the loan. We can also teleport our character over to here. So that we can remember what we need to do. That's actually This is actually a killer screenshot though. Loving that. Thank you all for tuning in today. It has been a blast as always. It has been a little bit strange, but hey, maybe we'll be using Twitch more often. I know I will be for non-train streams too. I'm definitely going to continue playing some other things like FTL or Splatoon or stuff like that. But maybe we'll also move some train stuff over here. Who knows? Take care, everybody. See you all around. Cheers, folks.